Um, if you add all these together, we're at um, over 12,000 miles flown for... Talking Jovi here with Stein and Travis, and we've got some very interesting data about the recent flight activities. So Travis, please share some details. Sure, so uh, this is just a, a graph to kind of give a, a better visual of what Joby's miles flown uh, by a month so far uh, looks like. And you know, a couple things to factor in here. This is presuming um, that Joby is flying at 100 miles an hour, so 85 knots or roughly 160 kilometers per hour. They typically do fly a, a bit faster than that. So these are conservative estimates. Um, and that's why I think is very important to, to note here. As you would see over from the beginning of the year to now, you would say why are the miles flown have decreased. Um, that is also just based off of the type of flights that they're doing. Some of those are you know, hour long flights or some they might be just testing you know, shorter hops. And what I think also um, is very interesting, whenever I've noticed that Joby starts to fly less, there tends to be more news that comes out. So I don't know how that's correlated. That could just be a gut feeling. But um, you know, you could see June was the least, they flew the least amount of miles this year, but obviously uh, from, from last week and then also again today, um, there's all sorts of news, really exciting things about the company. So um, I, I wouldn't look at any specific month in a vacuum, but overall to see that we have got, um, if you add all these together, we're at um, over 12,000 miles flown for the year. Uh, it's over 120 flight hours. So just really exciting stuff to see that Joby's consistently operating their aircraft, they're flying consistently. And I will flip to another chart, less action here on this chart, but it's just to show that even though you saw that over time in the second quarter, their flights, their miles flown was a bit lower, you'll see here that overall first quarter to second quarter, and this is the number of days within each quarter that had a test flight, were roughly the same. So we're sitting right around 30%, that 31% is, is there in Q2. So just some, some insights to see how much Joby is flying. I think to me, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces, but the most important one is that this thing is flying, that it is safe um, and that they can get, you know, not only short trips as we spoke about, um, but also some of those longer trips. Interesting, great metrics here, Travis. And I mean, if this would go to zero quarter on quarter, obviously that would be concern for us long-term shareholders in Joby. But now what we've heard with Toyota that they're going on the small scale production of 30 odd units, we should see that number picking up then in Q4. It would be very interesting to see how that reflects on the number of takeoff and landings and their absolute flight time. Yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to, again, all these numbers are just with one aircraft. Uh, and as we know uh, from last week's exciting news, the Joby will now have two aircraft um, that will be, obviously they'll have to do some flight testing before they deliver that to the Department of Defense uh, here in the States uh, early next year. But uh, very exciting. I, I would hope to think, um, you know, early estimates were that they would double, potentially triple their uh, miles flown from 2022. Right now they're on track to at least double it. So uh, very exciting. And as you said, it, it's a great indicator for me of you know, not necessarily in one specific month, but over time, if we see that the flight hours come down or there's not any progress, uh, again, just some insights to, to potentially what's happening and there with the, the future.